welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voice inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm CNC. And I like the explosive one, and we're playing Dr. Decker's Escape Island Technique Disaster Plane Adventure. Yep. What uh, what was going on with him? He uh, His girlfriend died. It sounded like in a car wreck with him. Yep. Uh, they met in World of Warcraft, and we were talking to him about, I'm on the montage. He said, oh, he had a really deep thing. He said he, he compared living life to grinding Warcraft. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Facts. That's yeah. how a lot of people feel. That's what it is. All right. Uh, so we can go let's, with. Let's talk about his montage, I guess. Dude. All right. I don't know what that means. Most of my days are blur. I'm not sure if it's a sleeping tablet, someone, or just how I've learned to switch on. Oh, he's on sleeping. He's on barbiturates. <laughs> <laughs> I snorted, dude. That was good. All right, uh, <laughs> you're on sleeping tablets, my man. Why you, you? You need to get off of those. I'm on temazepam. Doctor Decker prescribed them for me. He right. thought I would sleep through to a whole new day. I didn't. I just slept and kept living the same day. Okay, Tenazepam ain't too bad. All right, well, I guess that's the end of that. Why are you grinding life? I'm not really fit for work anymore. I work in produce at the local supermarket. That mainly involves lifting heavy crates of fruit and veg into place for people to buy and doing that over and over again. Well, yeah, you are grinding life. My muscles life. don't seem to have grown much. I think that maybe I'm not aging. When the day resets, I just reset with it. I used to be a builder. Hmm. He used to build things. He was a hands-on type of guy. You don't think you're aging? He's Benjamin Button. 57. Kidding. Just, if you spent <laughs> the whole day at the gym and then repeat that day and not go, you'd have achieved nothing. I mean, that's true, I guess. Yeah. I mean, confidently. Okay, incorrect. so that, that was it. So now we got to move on to the last girl. All right. Mariana, just, we're just going to check in on you. Hi. Nice to see you. And now we got Eileen. Yeah, there we go. She looks like she's innocent. What are you here for? I murdered Dr. Decker. Game over. <laughs> I'm Eileen. I'm 25 and I'm a nurse. God, I sound like I'm on one of those dating shows. She's like, do you want to go on a date, doctor? Okay. She seems pretty chipper. chipper. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mentioned dating, what type of nurse? I got what problem are you here for? I've got a note that Terry called. Yeah, let's let's do that. Terry's one of the other nurses at the home. I don't think she likes me very much. That, that seems pretty run in the mill. Nurse, <laughs> right. Oh, what do we got here? Sorry for writing in your notes. Say hello to Lean for me and let her know that Terry called for her Jaya. Oh. Perhaps Mariana should Stop going to the... Oh, that's, not, that's something okay, different. Okay, yeah, that's somebody different. Okay. Uh, what is this? You mentioned dating. dating. Oh. What problem are you... Yeah, let's ask her what problem she's there for. I started seeing Dr. Decker a few months ago. I thought it would be nice to have someone I could talk to about work. It can get a bit stressful sometimes. Yeah, I agree. Why are you moving around so much? Like, yeah, dude, like, everybody's just like running around the room. Yeah, I know. She's just like writhing on the couch, walking in from the side view. Yeah, she was on show you her booty. All right. Uh, what what did you, what what's stressful about the stress? It can be sad sometimes. Yeah. I don't like losing a patient, but that's the job. I don't get stressed about it or anything. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. cool, cool, cool. Well, are you lying about being stressed? No, that just seems like you just don't believe her. It's aggressive. Let's just ask. Kind of, kind of, yeah. yeah, she's like, ask cancer, I, I see you. I home for the elderly. I basically do end of life care. Oh, God. That is, that's what it is. Uh... To ask it. I'm, I don't need. I'm a doctor. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. We are doctors, Jonas. Yeah. We don't need to know what end of life care is. All right. Well, let's ask her about dating. Yeah. Dude. You like you dating the elderly? Or, or should I ask her about Decker? We are on Decker right now. Sure. Whatever, let's, man. Let's go with Decker. I've known a lot of doctors over the years. Most of them arrogant idiots who think nurses are just there to do their bidding, or worse. Doctor Decker was different. He had a lot of time for me. He was interested in my problems. I mean, you're paying him. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> yeah, every doctor speaks that language. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm very interested in your... All right, did, did you like Dr. Decker, dear? 
he was a bit offbeat, but yeah, I liked him. But then I like most people. What is her, why is she even here? She's having some stress at work, so she is like, lady, like smoke a joint. All right. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. What? I mean, you know, drink a drink a glass of wine. Chill out. All right. <laughs> Let's ask her about dating. I'm not really looking for love at the moment. I'm sort of married to my work, but in a good way. Don't don't smoke a joint either. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. don't, don't ever do that. Jesus. Kids. What? All over the place, dude. <laughs> These these are real. These are my real thoughts. I'm sorry. I'm just like chill out. Are you lying about being stressed? <sighs> I guess I might as well. It's not the job that stresses me. It's the people I work with, the other nurses. They're mean to me. Oh, now it comes out. She's like the. How are the other nurses mean? Definitely comes out. They call out. me the angel of death. Because so many patients have died on my shift. Oh my god. Achievement. I don't think they mean it. Obviously, it's not my fault. It just seems to happen that way. You killing all your patients? Lady, what are you doing? How many patients have died on your shift? Oh god. Mm, three last month. Three the month before that, I think. But only one so far this month, so that's good. Although, one of my patients, Hilda, I don't think she's got long. But, I mean, if you're doing end-of-life care, aren't most of your patients dying? That's what I was, you know, and, yeah, no. It's like if you're on hospice and, like, all my patients die, and you're like, well, yeah, they're on hospice. Yeah, well, hospice, you, you, that would be, like, those are no normal numbers for hospice. For, like, long-term end-of-life care, that, that's a little much, I guess, but... Let's talk about Hilda, I guess. We yeah. might as well. Yeah, I kind of want to know what She's kind of She's one of the life. crotchety ones. Always swearing and spitting at me. Never got anything nice to say. Uh, Thinks we're going to smother her in her sleep or something. She she's like, I've only done though. that once. Okay. I guess I might as well yeah. ask it. it yeah, just because you know. The usual things. Making sure the patients are comfortable, making sure they're not in any pain, and I talk to them. I keep them company. Okay. Some of them get pretty frightened about what's coming. Well, those of them that aren't out of it on meds. I comfort them. Aw, she's, she's so nice, dude. I hope she's not a yeah. murderer. Yeah, I mean, maybe she's the one killing all her patients and the doctor was her patient. Wait, when did she say this? Why are you, your patients frightened? Or why are your patients, some of your patients out of meds? Yeah. They're both related to what she said, so either way. All right. That is frightening, isn't it? Isn't it what everyone's afraid of? The great unknown. No one should have to face that alone. I agree. But... It might be inevitable. Yeah, I'll say, isn't that the I don't like it when patients are heavily sedated. Especially when there are alternatives, like herbal remedies. Oh, she's a hippie too. I mean, imagine if you only had a few days or weeks left to live. Would you want to spend it asleep? <laughs> I mean... Fair enough. Yes, I'd like to sleep through it. No one's... You mentioned herbal remedies. Yeah, I think that's probably the good one. You mentioned. Yeah. I'm a qualified herbalist. Oh, jeez. It's okay, you can laugh. Most people <laughs> think herbalism that. is a joke. But I'd much rather help my patients sleep at night with valerian or passion flower than lorazepam, tamazepam, or zolpidem. I mean, sure. Oh, we got her yellow. She's almost. Okay, gone. I was wondering if it was ever going to happen. Just say, no, I wouldn't like to sleep through it, I guess. Because we're agreeing with her that sleeping through the end of your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I feel like it's almost criminal. Like you're robbing people of their last moments on Earth. You should be able to savor the experience, not sleep your way to death. 
Yeah, that's a valid point. Okay. All right. Why should people save her dying? I'm not saying anyone should be happy about dying. I've seen lots of people die, and it's a special moment. There's literally nothing else like it. And when I murder them, I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> right? I feel like about Dr. Becker's murder. Yeah, there we go. All right, that's what we needed to get to. How long did you... Uh, wait, how long have you been seeing Dr. Decker, or what do you know about the murder? Let's oh, there's something it. flashing. I, think it's I, I missed it, yeah. So awful. No one deserves to die like that. Man, what happened to Decker? They did say it was brutal. Yeah, I know. But yeah, they... how do you select something up at the top? See the top right-hand corner? That is the button over here. Oh, we can go to the next day. Okay, okay. So, so we'll finish her up, I guess. And then... Yeah, we'll finish up her line of questioning. Uh, I've been seeing him for about nine months. The I baby's think. on his way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that should be it, right? Yep, that's yep. it. All right, Hell well, yeah, uh, we'll start day two next time. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you already did that, hit that notification bell for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we is out. These people are weird. Yeah, they are.